Well, I definitely did not see this one coming. If you're following Death Birth Herd, you probably know already a lot of celebrities use the case as a way, you know, to get their opinion out there, to get some internet views and clicks and things like that. But I didn't think this person here would be pitching in. If you don't know who Monica Lewinsky is, let's just say she had a little bit of a friendly relationship with Bill Clinton back in the day, and he actually ended up lying on the stand. That's for another time. Just a little quick history. And by the way, that's not unlike someone that we know. It says, Monica Lewinsky says Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial is courtroom porn and we are guilty. Well, I'm going to say hell no on that one. Not for people who have been following it for years and years and years. The reason a lot of us were watching it so carefully is because we were just really, really hoping with every last bone and piece of energy in our body that Johnny finally gets justice. If we didn't know about it, if we didn't know the facts behind it beforehand, it wouldn't really be as of much concern. Honestly, if it wasn't about Johnny Depp and it wasn't about how Amber was making up these stories, defaming him, telling her lies... If it was just some other celebrity, I wouldn't really care so much. But it meant something to a lot of us. In an opinion piece for Vanity Fair, Monica Lewinsky expresses concern for the ways we have stoked the flames of misogyny and the celebrity circus. Sounds bad already, Monica. Monica Lewinsky is giving her two cents on the circus surrounding the defamation trial between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. And people is not pro-Johnny. They want to make this thing seem... You know, it was a circus, it was crazy, it was this and that. It wasn't that, you know, Amber was guilty and it was necessary to point that out and show the world. It was a circus. Before Wednesday's explosive verdict in the trial between Depp 58 and Heard 36, Lewinsky 48 wrote in an opinion piece for Vanity Fair that the legal spectacle would be sad enough if it just impacted the personal lives of Depp, Heard, and their loved ones. Depp won on all three defamation counts. Let's read that again. Depp won on all three defamation counts. I'm still pretty happy about it. In his case brought against Heard over the 2018 op-ed about coming forward with domestic abuse allegations. The jury awarded Depp with $15 million in damages, but Heard will only have to pay $10.3 million due to Virginia law cap on punitive damages. It would be sad enough even if we just considered how it has impacted domestic violence survivors or those who have sought strength in the Me Too movement. However, it's the larger implications for our culture that concern me the most. The ways we have stoked the flames of misogyny and separately the celebrity circus Lewinsky added in the piece which was published on Tuesday. So what they're doing is they're getting anyone they can who's got a name, who's famous to come out and confirm their narrative that this is a bad thing, it's a circus, it's all crazy, forget about the fact that Amber lost, and she's guilty, and she lied, and all that stuff, that's not important, it's the narrative. She went on to say that the ease of ability to watch the trial through streaming means makes many think subconsciously that we have a right to look and watch to judge to comment, yes, we do, that's what the system is for, we want everybody watching so no crap is pulled behind closed doors. Nothing is twisted. Nothing comes out of the courtroom that's been manipulated or different. We want to see everything in real time as it happens so everybody can judge and make the right decision. And when somebody spins something like People and Vanity Fair, we know they're spinning the wrong way because you could just watch the trial and know what happened. It's really important to have the right to watch. And it's important for it to be public. So I guess Monica just ain't that smart. There's no other way to put it. And it continues. And we end up with this confusing cultural crossover of watching two people whom we are used to seeing as actors acting on the screen. Well, used to seeing Johnny because no one knew who the heck Amber was before any of this. In a setting, a courtroom where we would normally expect them to be assuming their characters' roles. She continued referring to the seemingly addictive nature of the trial as courtroom porn 
and drawing parallels to the Soma drug in the classic dystopian social science fiction movie, Brave New World. Surprised she actually read it. Maybe she didn't. Maybe she just knew that reference, but okay. Now, here's the thing. I wasn't confused. Were you confused? You know, we've been studying this, watching videos, checking out social media posts, getting facts together for years. So when they came out in the court, we were like, yep, yep, that, that, this, that. Okay, that's new here and there. But mostly it was stuff we knew already, at least in the case of people who were educated on the, you know, the subject. And it was a court case due process in a very normal manner, not confusing for me whatsoever. Lewinsky also hinted at her own past controversy, her mid-90s affair with former President Bill Clinton, an error-defining politician scandal that fueled his impeachment in her essay, Joking Google 1998, amused that she wasn't surprised that the memes she saw about her far outnumbered those about Depp. Because what are you going to meme about Depp? What are you going to say? What's there to make fun of? I, I honestly can't think of anything. I mean, what would you be making fun of him about? He wears too many colors once in a while, like blues and oranges and white and things. I don't know. <laughs> you know, he's pretty colorful. Ha ha, let's make a meme about that. It's not like Johnny Depp actually did something in the bed that you're supposed to do someplace else. Not like Johnny went up there and said that his dog stepped on a bee. Not like Johnny copied what Amber Heard was wearing in the courtroom, at least for the first few days. He didn't really give us too much meme material, let's put it that way. And then she goes down to say that she wasn't surprised that all the targets were towards the woman. But wait a minute, weren't the targets from the top levels, corporations, Warner Bros, Disney, media aimed at Johnny that he did this? Who lost their job? in the major franchises, not Amber. Why isn't that mentioned? Mention that. You can't mention that because you know you wouldn't have your narrative and your spin on your article there. That's the important thing. Who lost the career of multi-millions of dollars and got canceled? You don't want to say the most important part of what happened? That's the whole double standard. That's the whole reason we went to court. But they were less about Depp and Heard, more seemed to idolize Camille Vasquez, Depp's lawyer for her performance, cross-examining Heard. Oh, you thought we wouldn't have any girl-on-girl -girl action in this trial. That's on Misogyny's Greatest Hits album, Lewinsky wrote. What in the gosh darn hell are you talking about? It's a great thing Camille was there. Okay, so here's the thing. This happened to Star Wars fandom. When a woman steps in on the side of the men who are being called misogynist, well, well, she's no good. Her opinion doesn't count. It's meaningless. So when Lucasfilms told Star Wars fans they were trolls, they were misogynist, they were sexist and things like that, well, when the female fans came forward said, well, no, no, we feel the same way, they got ignored. They apparently didn't count whatsoever. So same thing here. Any woman on Johnny's side is the same as the men, and only the actual women are on Amber's side. Those are the good women. Those are the victims. Those are the real women. The women on Johnny's side, well, no, they're, they're different. They're different women. That's how these people think. Lewinsky ended her essay by a pinning, we are drenched in the taint of the dirt and aggression of the social media wars. The obsessive chatter around the Depp First Heard trial is one small example of ever-expanding, ever-demanding search for scandal fraud and titillation adding, no matter whom the jury's verdict favors, be it defendant heard or plaintiff's debt, we are guilty. Of course, that shit. No matter who wins, it doesn't matter who wins, it's all a bad thing. Forget Amber lied, forget she's a criminal, forget she committed perjury, it's just, you know, forget she abused Johnny, it's just all a bad thing no matter what, it's all bad, it's all bad. Deflection, 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 off the fact Amber heard has a DUI, she committed perjury, she lied on the stand, she broke California law by videotaping Johnny in his house without permission, so even without the abuse, she is a criminal. 
Did you mention that, people? Or Vanity Fair? Can you give some full context here that the person we're talking about is starting at the level of a criminal? Then the abuse on top of that? That's been proven? I don't think so. It's just, she's Amber, she's the woman, here's the narrative. Complete trash. Let me know what you think down below. Doing shoutouts, special thanks, things like that. Depth press heard, pop culture, celebrity news. If you don't subscribe here, I guess I'll be pretty sad about it. But I'll get over it, make a new video, something like that. See you next time.